You're still, that's a lot of water. Is it a lot of water? You were like bottom heavy. Oh god, no. Okay, maybe here. Okay. Okay. Oh no! There's so much water. He's gonna sink. Look at the back. I know it's late and I didn't upload another video this week. Um, things have been really busy, like really busy. We're actually on our way to Austin right now because this guy, it, what do you do? Driving, I think. I don't know, I'm kind of swerving around. But... Oh, you're talking about this weekend. Yes. So yeah, this weekend, uh, I'm actually working ACL again. I've uh, done the last four, three, I guess the last three years, this is my fourth. What is ACL? Austin City Limits. It's a big music festival. It's like uh, Bonnaroo and all those other ones. So uh, basically what I do is I just kind of hang out in the food court and just uh, deal with tablets. But I'm able to go kind of check out some shows and just kind of hang out and uh, get paid for it. So it's, it's not a bad deal, but um, you know, I'm just having to balance that with my normal jobs. And then, yeah, it just, it's a little tiring. I get there around 7, 7.30 and then I don't leave until midnight or 1.00. And then I do it all again. 7.30 a.m. Yeah. 7.30 a.m. And then all the way to the next morning. Friday through and Sunday. And then that same morning, I go back. So yeah. It's like four or five hours worth of sleep each night. So yeah, pretty tiring. Since it's in Austin, we've actually been staying at my parents' house because they live in Austin. It's like 10 to 15 minutes from where he has to go, which is much better than 45 minutes from our place in San Marcos. So we've been staying there. So what we're doing right now and what we did last weekend is we're driving up on Thursday night and then we stay Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we come back super late Sunday. Um, so basically after last weekend, we both were wiped out because I stay up to let him in the house and just, you know, to stay up and have dinner ready for him whenever he comes in. So we're both like wiped out. I'm sure he's insanely tired. Um, and then starting Monday, he goes back to work and then the week kind of resumes as normal and now we're back to it again. So this is the last weekend that we're doing this, but it's definitely tiring. And, but it's it's good because it's good money and he makes a lot of good connections, gets some good food, and then he gets to see all of the big shows for free. So this year, uh, Paul McCartney's there. Who else? Metallica. Metallica. I'll see uh, Disturbed. I mean, Disturbed. Those are like the ones from my childhood, you know, when we were in that whole rock scene. But, but yeah, you just never know what you're going to see. Like, you go in seeing just a bunch of names and then you are able to put the music to those names and decide if you like it or not. I like the whole festival scene. It's really neat. I get to listen to a lot of bands I've never heard of before and judge them. And so. then not having to pay $300 to go is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't have to deal with like the whole festival scene. As soon as it gets hot or inconvenient at all, I leave the crowds and I go to the back and just kind of hang out. So, not a bad deal. Yeah, so 
Um, that's kind of what we've been doing. I was planning on doing a video for Monday and then the, the day just got away from us. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it Thursday. And then today I ended up falling asleep at about two, which is whenever I wanted to film and edit the video. And then we got ready to go. So that's that. With that said, I figured that we could update you guys on the whole baby situation. <laughs> but, you know, cause it's a situation. Um, we had our first sonogram on Tuesday. Um, and we actually got to see a little baby. And I'll put in a picture that we posted online. Um, I don't, it's like he or she is about this big. And what, five centimeters? looks like a little gummy bear. There's like little nubs, but you can see the head. You can see where the arms are growing. I, it's just so crazy. There's a heartbeat. There's a heartbeat, and that was my biggest fear. And I think that's why I've been so concerned and worried because of the previous miscarriages. I was just worried that we were going to go in and not have a heartbeat. But there's a heartbeat. There's a baby. She said, the nurse said that everything seems like it's in the right place. Like every, well, obviously like it's there. Everything looks good. The heartbeat is good. So as far as we know, everything is healthy. So we have our first prenatal appointment early next week. And that's whenever they'll discuss more with us about, I guess, what to do from here. We have no idea. I don't know, but it's very exciting. And I think it's finally setting in even more because we actually have like tangible evidence that something is there. Like actually seeing it is so different for me. Um, but on top of that, this week I've kind of been hit with some sickness. I haven't had much up until this point. It's been kind of nausea on and off, but this week it's kind of hit. So the last two days I've been feeling pretty rough. And so I guess that's another reason why I wasn't really filming. So I don't know, it's all crazy and exciting. We have a lot to figure out as far as where this leads life. And it's a big old class name. Class A on the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're figuring that out, but we're gonna talk with you guys in future videos about our plans, um, trailer plans, RV plans, what we're gonna do. Because this kind of changes everything. And we were actually, we were hoping to go to Tyler next week and then we scheduled our prenatal appointment. So I guess we're not going to Tyler. I don't so, know, man. I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff that's up in the air right now, but it's okay because this is all, like all of these changes are good and they're exciting. And I think one of the coolest things right now is spending so much time with our families with all of the news. So I don't know, I've appreciated being with family my, a bunch of my family came over last weekend whenever I was at my parents and I think they're supposed to come over again this weekend so it's been really nice spending some time with them so definitely much needed the Wyatts are still wandering through life <laughs> we're we're wandering big time right now like I don't not in the not in the RV sense but we have been I haven't been filming just because things have been so busy um, but in good ways. So I'm I'm hoping to just pick up the camera a little bit more in the next few days Like this weekend just kind of what I'm doing around Austin um, Maybe he'll get some footage from the festival. I don't know. I got a little bit already, but I'll get more I'll so, make sure that Yeah, maybe he'll get some that we can interlay and then I, I want to get back on a normal schedule as far as next week goes because the festival will be over and we'll get kind of back to normal as far as our weekly schedule goes and then we'll see about possibly going to Tyler soon. Um, but we do have some fun plans coming up for the fall. So I guess, I don't know, there's not a whole lot to this video other than just update you guys on what's going on. Um, it's probably, I don't remember the last time that we've missed days throughout the week. So I wanted to just update y'all because that's, that's, that's what we're doing right now. So hopefully y'all are having a wonderful day. If you have any questions or have specific topics that you guys want to see, let us know in the comments below. I think that's gonna be it though. I'm kind of scatterbrained. Yeah. But it, it's fine. We're it's fine. It's okay. We're doing good. The dogs are good. They're with the in-laws this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, and with the dogs. <laughs> they're they're good. Uh, yeah. Is that is that? You want to add anything else? Nope. That's all. Okay. Have fun out there, guys. Bye.